Hello and welcome to Hamer Reviews. My name is Christopher Hamer and today I'm reviewing an Anker charger. Now I do love a USB power bank and this one is quite cool. It is definitely aimed at the more outdoorsy types because it has solar panels built in. It's the Anker um, PowerCore Solar 20,000. So I actually think that battery banks are very useful but if you don't have the ability to charge them up, then obviously they suddenly just become paperweights. And in this case, quite a heavy one. This weighs around half a kilo. However, this has solar panels built into the front. And the idea is that you can actually charge this battery using the sun. Thus, you don't need to constantly be near a power outlet. At 20,000 milliamp hours, this is a good level of capacity. You can charge your phone multiple times with this before the battery runs out. This being said, there are some minor niggles I have for the solar panel, which might lead you not to try and go off grid using this pantry. So let's start off with the important stuff. So in terms of um, connectivity, this has two ports um, for charging. You have a USB-C input and output capable of up to 18 watts, and you have a um, USB-A port capable of up to 12 watts that uses sort of five volts, 2.4 amps, whereas the um, USB-C port will do about three amps. So those are your inputs and outputs. You can charge and um, output via USB-C. You can only um, charge a device with the USB-A port. Being a more sort of outdoor orientated um, device, you have this massively thick um, cover, which covers the ports, which means this is actually relatively waterproof, water resistant at least. Um, it's very rugged, it's got thick rubber outing, um, so you can drop this and I have no doubt this will not break. Even the solar panel is protected by a nice thick bezel. So the design is already very outdoor orientated. In addition, you even sort of have a mini stand on it, so when you place it down on the ground, it isn't necessarily um, sort of going to be submerged if there's a little bit of water around. So the anchors definitely thought about the design. At the bottom, um, you have something which I haven't seen in a while, which is a light on a USB power bank. Um, if I hold down the um, power button, you activate the light. It's actually quite bright. It has a low mode and a high mode and also SOS mode so you can gain someone's attention if you're in trouble. Um, it's nice to have a light on here given this is outdoor orientated and it is three bright LEDs and in bright mode this certainly does actually light up a room so I'm quite impressed. The actual um, LED element of this is nice and I do think it's the right thing to add to this kind of power bank. Of course, the reason why you're going to be buying this is because of the solar panels. At £55 to £60, which is what I've seen this retailing for, you're only going to buy this if you're, if you're going to be using the solar panel element. And unfortunately, I'm not that impressed. So, I charged this up to 100% and used it for a while, and I got to around two bars um, of charge, just below it, in fact. It went down to one bar. At that point, I thought, wouldn't it be interesting to see how long it takes to charge this up um, using solar power? So I placed this in my window at a 45 degree angle and the window is south facing. So this really does get sunlight all day. Um, that being said, it's been sort of medium cloudy. You've had a few days of sun, a few days of cloud, and it has been out there for a week. And it is still just about pulsating around the 50% uh, full, so second LED mark. I'm kind of disappointed because although I didn't expect it to charge in a day, the, the box even says that it will take um, like a, a week plus to charge this fully. However, we're in August, so that's, you know, there's a lot of sunlight here. You've got sunlight from about 6 a.m. until about 9 p.m. at the moment. In addition, there's direct sunlight on it between about 1 p.m. to about 5, 6 p.m. So that's direct south facing sunlight. It was definitely charging, you know, I saw the LED come on because it has two LEDs to tell you one it's charging and then it has another to tell you if it gets too hot because the solar panels do get warm when the sun's hitting it. But I just haven't hit more than 50%, so it's only charged 25% tops um, since, since I um, placed it out there. And yeah, I just kind of would expect more. Um, if you're gonna be taking this out and about, this, isn't enough to re-keep your devices charged because let's say you're using it to charge your phone they do say charge it to 100 percent and then use it as sort of trickle charging and it does actually one thing to mention it does have pass-through charging so if you're charging this with solar power 
and you have a phone connected, it will actually pass through the charge as well. So if you're at 100%, you put it out on a sunny day, you might not lose much power from the battery bank if you're charging a your phone. So that's good. But if you've used it, say, for a week and your phone's on low and this is on low, using solar power alone probably won't be enough to keep your device charged. So it's probably a bit of a gimmick, to be honest. I think that um, Anker does sell, I think, bigger solar panels to charge battery power banks. And I think that will work well. You've probably got, you know, seven or eight of these. And I can imagine that would charge a power bank, you know, in a day or two. But as this stands, as a standalone object, if you're saying I'm going to be out of um, sort of power range for more than a week, I wouldn't rely on just this. You're going to need um, potentially an additional power bank as a backup or indeed more solar panels. So although I really like this and it's a cool design, I wouldn't buy one again for £55 because I don't think the charging capacity of this power bank is good enough to warrant using it out and about a long period of time and knowing your devices will be charged. There are better solutions out there. That being said, you're also not being ripped off because this kind of price points, you don't get much else in terms of solar charging. So something to bear in mind, it's a cool product. And as a power bank itself, if you're just using it as a 20,000 million power power bank, it's great. The capacity is accurate. Um, it will charge your device. You can charge two devices at the same time. The USB-C output is decent for an iPhone. You can charge your iPhone nice and fast, but it's just, if you're, if you're buying it because of the solar panels, yeah, I'm not too sure about that. If however, this is a caveat, you want a rugged, power bank for outdoors, then actually, you know what? This probably isn't bad. Go out, you know, if you're in sunlight, why not put it face up and try and charge it a bit? It's not gonna hurt. You're gonna get some extra capacity at the end of the day. It's just don't try and rely on this if you're out and about and you're not gonna necessarily know if you can have sunlight, if you're gonna, um, gonna be, have power connectivity for a week or two. Um, this is not enough to rely on. Hope you found this little review useful. It is a good power bank, just the solar issue um, being my main caveat. Overall, um, it's not a bad product. It just is limited by what it can do. If you have any questions about it, pop them in the comments section below. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, the other button works just fine too. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe as it really does help and I do appreciate it. Thank you very much for watching and I do hope I see you again next time. Goodbye.